Do you get migraines and wonder if there are any other treatment options for you? Have you ever considered Botox injections? Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Bathla and welcome to another episode of The Pain Minute. So today I want to talk to you about migraines and treating them with Botox injections. So who are these injections for? Oftentimes you get patients who have been stable on their migraine medications for many years but have been noticing that they are starting to get both an increase in frequency and intensity of their migraines. Alternatively, you may be somebody who has a little to no success with their current medications and you may be looking for an alternative treatment option. It is important to mention that this is not a cure, it's simply a way to keep your headaches under control. So Botox injections have been shown to be very effective. The average patient will show approximately 50% reduction in pain intensity and frequency after getting their injections. So let's first define what a migraine headache is. People with migraine headaches differ from other headaches in that they may have symptoms of nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light, and sound. They also may have an aura or sign that their headaches are coming such as a visual change, a physical sign such as yawning, difficulty speaking, a neurological symptom such as tingling in the face, arm, or leg. The criteria to get approved for Botox injections includes that you need to have at least 15 headache days in a month with 8 of them having features of a migraine. You must also have tried at least and failed at least 2 migraine medications. So often I get asked, how is Botox different than cosmetic Botox? Well, they're actually exactly the same. In fact, this is how it was discovered to be an effective treatment against headaches. It was found that people who were getting Botox for aesthetic reasons were finding a decrease in their migraines. The major difference that is with Botox for migraines, we use a lot more Botox. In fact, you get about 30 to 40 injections. Now this may sound like a big number and I understand that can be very scary, but I want to assure you that we use a very fine needle and these injections are not that bad. They are performed to the forehead, the sides of the head, the back of the head, the neck and the shoulders. So how does it work? This is still up for debate and is not quite fully understood but it is likely due to a combination of paralyzing the muscles that cause the tension around the head and paralyzing the nerve receptors so they cannot transmit pain signals anymore. As I mentioned earlier, it works quite well and oftentimes we are successful in eliminating any need for any other medications in our patients. A small percentage of patients can actually feel a little worse before it works so that it is important to keep that in mind. So side effects, like any other procedure, everyone will react differently in their own way. One of the most common side effects may be swelling or bruising around the injection sites, but that will quickly resolve. More uncommonly, you may get an eyelid droop, which will generally resolve within a few weeks and isn't particularly dangerous. You should not have these injections if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. The Botox injections can be effective within a few days to over two weeks post-procedure, and it typically lasts about three months. At that time, you can simply just repeat it again. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you like what you hear, please click the like button and feel free to leave comments and questions below. Please subscribe so I can bring you more videos in the future. Thanks for watching another episode of The Pain Minute. I'm Dr. Bathla and I'll see you next time.